Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and another Divi tutorial this week. This time I'm showing you how to make a slider out of your own sections and rows that you design using any Divi modules to create that section. So basically what I'm saying is I'm going to show you how to build a section that becomes a slide and then add that into a slider. All right, so let's get started. Now I'm going to be using the term slider and carousel somewhat interchangeably, although in this particular tutorial, I am talking more of a slider because of making a whole section. I usually think of a section as being like the, the full width, you know, element on the page rather than a carousel, which I think of a carousel as like three or so items, like columns, like like let's say you have a blog post the carousel there's like three posts at a time that kind of thing so i think of a slider as like the entire page is one slide but i will be probably using that interchangeably now if you want to check out how to make a carousel out of any divi modules so just any modules blurbs and call to actions or third party you know woocommerce modules whatever you can check out our other tutorial that we have linked here Today, like I said, I'm, I'm talking more about a slider, okay? And we're using like a section in a row. Um, so you do need to use our Divi Carousel Maker plugin. Um, that's just what we're, that's the only way to do it. Um, there's no other way to make a slider by building your own sections and, and making them into a slider. That's just the only way. So um, use our plugin. Um, if you're a member of our Adventure Club, like our membership, you can just go download it, or if not, you'll have to purchase the individual plugin. Now, first of all, let's understand what this does. Well, it basically takes a module or a section or a row and, and makes it into a carousel. There's a setting within the Divi Builder that does it. So you just go into the setting and enable it. And so like, let's say you had a bunch of blurbs um, in, the, in, a, in a column, and you say enable the carousel, then you exit the builder. Well, you see a carousel of those blurbs. Um, in this case, we will build multiple sections and save them as slides. And then when you exit the builder, you'll, you'll see the slides, you know, going. Okay. So that's what this plugin does. It actually makes the, the slider and the carousel part, but it doesn't make the content part. All right. So that's, what's cool about it. In fact, that's what makes it special. Um, you build your own content using your modules, your section, that kind of thing and we, ha we handled then making that content into the slider. Okay, hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, go ahead, first step, well, second step, to build your slide. Now, I, I can just show you, like I can work through this with you. I, I don't even have a slider in mind, but I can just like talk you through a little bit of ideas here. So let's just make a simple one here maybe. Maybe we want an image on the left column. Um, let's see if we have some good images. Uh, here's some bikers and maybe over here we want a text module because you know we might we might want to have I don't know some title text All right make it an h1 or something and then let's say we want to have a button cool all right so we have the button so we could call this a slide now I could go in here and change the background maybe I want it to be yellow I, why would I want that? But okay, now we're gonna make another one. So you can go ahead and make another one. Maybe for this one, let's see, what do I want for this one? This size, and then I could even do a, a trick here. I could do like a blog module, or I could do, see, do I have WooCommerce? I don't know if I have WooCommerce since, oh, yeah, I do. So Woo, um, Woo Products, let's do that. Let's put the count to one for this one and columns to one. I'm kind of doing this on the fly here, but so I have this this here, right? So now I could add like a text and say, you know, um, you know, great sale on this bag by now. All right, really, really good. And then a button maybe. Anyway, you get the idea. We can build our slides and let's make this one a certain color so we know it too. We'll make this one green. Really nice. All right, cool. We built some slides. I mean, you can do whatever you want here. 
Um, now we have to save them to the Divi library. Uh, but that that's just that's just how it works. Um, like we have to save the sections to the Divi library here. So we'll click this like down kind of arrow, save the library. Uh, here I can just call it. Maybe I'll just call it slide one, cycling something like that. Save the library. It's nice to give it a name that you'll you know recognize later. I'll say slide two. Um, uh, bag, I guess. <laughs> Save the library. I'm just making this up as I go. All right, now, now that they're in the Divi library, I could I could go check that out, right? Here they are, right, in the Divi library. So on the back end, you can see the two slides. Now I could actually I could actually delete them from the page because I don't. That's just how it works. Now now I want to actually make my like slider section. Okay, so now I'm going to build that. So I would add that. Now here's the 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 key, like the key to making this work. How do you get those those sections now into a slider? Well, when you're following along the tutorial, um, we we kind of went over that. Now it's step four. So we're using a module that we created that when you when you install the Divi Carousel Maker, we automatically add this new module, and it's a very simple module here. It, you could type it in like carousel, it's carousel layouts. It's what it's called. All right, so this module is very, very simple. I mean, there's no settings or anything except these checkboxes. So it says Divi Library Layouts, and you can see that these are the two that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select both of these because I want both of these to be in my slider, right? Uh, and, and we'll talk about some things with that. But anyway, these these any any layouts that are in your Divi library will appear here. So you might have to like go down through and like find the ones you want, and you'll just select them. Now we only add this module once, and you can see it's it's in the Visual Builder. You can see it's gonna stack the slides like this, right? And you can't really edit that because like it's kind of like inside this module, and that's okay. Now we need to go to the next step. We'll just jump ahead here to number five. We have to actually enable this thing. So the way our module works is it's in the in the column, right? So go in here to the row. Now open up the column, and you'll see this tab here, carousel. So again, I mean we're doing a slider, but it's a carousel, right? So under the general settings, open that and then make this column a carousel. So we're essentially just enabling it. Now when we enable it, it's going to have default settings enable. And I am actually going to exit the builder just to show you. You won't be able to see any of it inside the builder. Maybe after Divi 5.0, we're not sure yet. There's one setting I just remembered I need to adjust. So go back to your column, then carousel. Under general settings, we have this uh, number of columns, or we're, we're going to change it to number of slides. But anyway, it's the number of like, yeah, slides on your screen at one time. Well, it's set to three by default. We only want it to be one, and that's important because we want it just to show one slide, and then that slides off, then we see the next one. So that will be one specific setting that you will need to adjust. All right, and I am going to exit the builder just to show you what two slides will look like with basically default settings. So we automatically get these navigation arrows and these little control dots at the bottom. And there you go, there's my two slides, right? And again, we, there are so many settings. This is like super basic, all right? I am just going to enable this again. I'll have another tab here, we can preview it. That's the best way to handle it. Now, let's say you, the, maybe the most obvious thing to you, let's say you wanted this to be full width. Well, to do that, keep in mind, these are inside this row and this column. So you would go into the row itself and go down here, like see width, it says 80%. I would type in 100%. Oh, and the max width. For the max width, put in 100% too. Notice that this, this now is filling the entire width. You may, maybe you wanna get rid of any padding. So in the row here, maybe you wanna put padding top and bottom, zero, right? And even this this main section here, same thing. Spacing, padding, top and bottom zero. Okay. Now this slide is going to be like really full width. Now, 
Remember over here when we were viewing it, these arrows were outside. We can adjust those. Go back into the row and then the column and then the carousel, navigation button settings. And, and again, you can adjust everything here. Um, the styling, the colors, the button, the, even the icons here. What, what I want to do is look for this position or um, sorry, right here, location, they're calling it. Navigation buttons, location are on sides. I'm going to change that to sides inset and then show you that. It's going to just move them inside the actual slide. <laughs> All right, I refresh, you can see it gets full width. So things are not, it's, it's still a little outside. That's okay, we can adjust that. And I still see a little spacing and that's because I forgot something, which is a good, a very good reminder. In the general settings, there is 10 pixels of default spacing. So I, you would wanna get rid of that too, if you want it to be full width. Oh, and then the thing with the navigation buttons, one of the really nice things about all the settings we offer is if you go into like left and right here, notice here it says the, the horizontal position. Let's say I change that to like, I don't even know, like I'm just gonna throw in a number like 30 pixels. And in the right, I'm also going to put that. And I'm not quite sure how that's gonna look, but let's try that. All right, that's actually really good. Um, move them in a nice amount. Now, one more thing, I keep forgetting things. In the design settings, now this is where I could actually adjust the certain aspects of each slide within the carousel, which you don't need to do probably for this tutorial. Um, but one of the things that I that I keep forgetting is the spacing. So now in the default tab, there's also 10 uh, pixels around each slide. The, the reason that's different than what I changed earlier is because that's each slide as opposed to the entire carousel. So now I finally, I think, you know, fingers crossed, I finally got the, the spacing all removed. So let's go ahead and look at it. Yeah. And you can see where these we, these arrows are. You can adjust that. You can put them down below. Um, you can move them up and down vertically. You can move them horizontally. And obviously you can make any slide design that you want. So like it, it's pretty cool. Like we're literally just like clicking through sections now. Oh, and you can also make like a transition. So we'll go back in here to the carousel and the scroll settings lots of settings but like auto scroll now let's see the transition effect it's set to slide because you know how you can see it like swipe over right you could set it to fade um these other ones are kind of probably more for the carousel let's try fade i don't know if i'm going to like that effect eh, it's okay yeah i like that so you might want fade it's up to you um, that's pretty much it. I do have some notes in the tutorial here. Um, you could only use one carousel layout module, module per slider. Like you want to add more of these, you know, you would just add one per slider. You cannot mix the carousel layouts module with other modules, if that makes sense. Oh, and then the way these work, they're in chronological order based on the timestamp of the Divi library layout. So let's say I wanted to change the order of the slides, which you won't be able to see because I only have two, but like you could do a quick edit. Uh, where is it? Right here, like the date and the time, you could change that. Like if, it, if I wanted to just adjust it a little bit, instead of that, I could say like 55 or something instead of 50, you know, and that's going to adjust the order chronologically of how they show up on the front end, okay? Other than that, it's just like stuff about the carousel plugin. Um, that's the gist of it. So again, it's build your section however you want, save it to the Divi library, and then add the module, the carousel layouts module, and then adjust the carousel itself. And then you have your slider that you can build however you want. Um, so I hope you enjoy that and I hope you find that uh, creative and useful and if you do be sure to let us know that really helps even just comments and likes it you know it, it tickles the algorithm and, and makes us show up for uh, more people that enjoy Divi tutorials so 
we do this every week. So that's kind of what you get if you subscribe, some kind of tutorial related to Divi. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.